You know, guys, I've been trying a lot of these celebrity skincare lines, and now I'm kind of feeling like the celebrity is like seeping into my pores, and I don't know how to deal. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the Sound Baby Doctor here on YouTube, and in today's video we are going to be going over alicia keys new skincare line soul care and these are my first impression of thoughts because as you can see i have not opened anything yet we are going to find out together there are a lot of skincare lines coming out from celebrities um lately Alicia Keys, I think, has more of a dog in the fight. Is that the expression that I'm trying to, that I'm thinking of <laughs> with this? But Alicia Keys has had well-documented struggles with her skin. Back in the days, she was a spokesperson for Proactive. Um, a lot of people tend to, like, down Proactive, but when I was in my 20s dealing with adult acne, that stuff actually worked for me. I don't need to use it now because I don't have acne like I did then. This packaging is kind of nice so far. Ooh! <laughs> That's nice. All right, and it feels, it feels like I can't break this. We, we ain't reviewing the person, we're reviewing the skincare. But I brought, the, I brought up some of that stuff though because, um, you know, sometimes the, the celebrity skincare can be a cash grab. Now I'm always all for people getting their money, but you know, do it right. Like, I would love to see a celebrity. Is there a celebrity out there who's constantly like, showing like involved within the skincare community where they're like constantly sharing their skincare tips and showing their routine and stuff like that and then they came out with a line maybe that's a strategy to follow and you know i want my 10 percent if you do that celebrity okay so the golden cleanser is just 20 bucks so i'm already like okay alicia you're speaking my language i, I like a, i like a cute twenty dollars you know cleanser this is this is 5.75 ounces so and this was this line was developed in partnership with a board certified dermatologist so it's not like she just you know decided to put moon rocks and angel thoughts into her skincare line so okay good keys golden soul care golden cleanser is a delicate and soothing facial pore cleanser that purifies your skin and your spirit. Okay. It gently removes dirt, makeup, and impurities with antioxidant-rich Manuka honey from New Zealand, soothing turmeric and calming chamomile. An Ayurvedic essential for over 4,000 years, the Golden Spice Turmeric is a gentle purifying and calming agent for the skin. With a delicately, delicately scented lab that will awaken you to your higher purpose, this cleanser, this cleansing ritual will leave your skin soft and refreshed while giving you the clarity and power to turn everything in your life into gold. Uh, cruelty free, all Keys Soul Care products are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, formaldehyde, um, and then a list of things. I'll leave a link so you can check it out. We talk about the parabens things here, but a lot of people have perpetuated this parabens are bad thing so much so that now that we know that parabens aren't this big demon that it's hard now to sell people stuff with parabens in it and sometimes the preservatives that they're using in place of parabens wind up being more irritating and, and problem causing than the parabens themselves but that's a whole nother issue so now obviously i'm not in my bathroom the lighting in here is better i got more room in here so you know just play along right so i'm gonna put uh, put some water in my hand Gonna pump some cleanser. There's the lather. The cleanser smells like, there's fragrance in here. What does this smell like? It smells like a perfume that I like. Like uh, patchouli, kind of like woodsy, woody, oriental, that kind of like family. Um, I like the smell and it's not overpowering, but you know, fragrance is very subjective. I really should have had something to hold my hair back, but oh well. I like. All right, Alicia Keys. Now, some of the, <laughs> some of that cleanse your skin and your soul stuff was, you know, a little much. But you know what? Alicia Keys is very like. That's why she called it soul care. Like, you know, I ain't, okay, I can't be mad at that. But it has a nice slip to it that glides on the skin, gives you a nice, luxurious um, cleanse. 
I tried the Pharrell skincare line. Make sure you check out that video. Um, his was a rice enzyme cleanser that you mix with water and you can determine how, you know, what consistency you wanted. That wasn't for me. I just want to get in and get out and move on with my life. So I definitely like this one better. Let me go rinse this off, pat dry, and then we're going to move on to the next product. Right. My skin feels amazing. Um, my eyes are burning, but that's because I had a sunscreen on before then. And the sunscreen kind of got in my eyes. But we could. I would give this 8 out of 10. I, I actually really like this. Um, I don't know, I'm getting close, I want to kind of get closer to a 9 out of 10, but I won't get all, this, 8 out of 10 for first impressions. Um, if I wind up using this more in my routine, I'll, somewhere down the line, maybe in a faves and fails video, if I continue to do those, I'll let you know how I felt. Okay, so next we're going to do the Be Luminous Exfoliator. Let me tell you a little bit about it. The Be Luminous Exfoliator only has a one star review, but it only has one review so far in Ulta. But anyway, um... Same spiel with in partnership with a board certified uh, dermatologist. The B Luminous Exfoliator is a restorative, water activated exfoliating powder that transforms into a creamy foam with microgranules to gently buff away dullness and reveal your skin's true radiance. An ancient green tea that's rich in antioxidants. Hojicha. Hojicha. An ancient green tea that's rich in antioxidants. Hojicha powder provides non-stripping exfoliation, which along with mung beans and oats, pro help provide a softer, smoother texture. Among the mildest and most hydrating of the alpha hydroxy acids, lactic acid, we know that one, for skin is a hardworking multitasker that gently exfoliates for a brighter appearance. Once every couple of days, take the time to polish your skin and spirit with, <laughs> with this illuminating ritual that will leave you shining from the inside out, cruelty-free. Um, shame spiel with the, the phthalates and the parabens and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's open her up. This packaging, I love it. Oh, and this exfoliator is $22. I, I like a nice like $20, $30, you know, I like to live in that price realm. Oh, it's similar to the Pharrell uh, Human Race Skin Care. So I'm probably going to need to mix this with water. After wetting your hands and face, apply a small amount to the palm of one hand and add water to create a creamy foam. Using a circular motion, gently massage foam into your skin, avoiding the delicate eye area. Rinse with warm water and pat dry. Use two to three times weekly. I like when, you know, they tell you how often you should probably use it. You, most people don't need to exfoliate more than two to three times a week. I know a lot of those like chemical exfoliants um, say that you can use it daily. Um, I, I would, if you, if it's new to you, I would start out two to three times a week. And then if you feel like you need to up it up, up the ante a little bit, then maybe, you know, add some more. Just be careful out there, you know, it's always, it's always good to start out slow and then add one if need be. So I'm wetting my face just as a small amount. <laughs> That's about a small amount. Add water to create a creamy foam. Okay. We didn't create the creamy foam. See, this is why you gotta follow the directions. Okay, there we go. There's the creamy foam. And then you massage into this. Ooh. I do not feel nan. Well, you can feel the granules, but they're very, like, almost non existent. Oh, I like that. But I also am someone who likes to get in and out with my skincare. So I definitely love, like, a. a exfoliating toner because all I got to do is douse it on that cotton pad white and I'm done this is nice though I'm gonna go rinse this off right and then come back okay so as I was in the bathroom rinsing this off um I wanted to you know kind of show you to see see how it lathers more you know as you rinse it off so just finished Patting dry. I would have to say, I would give this probably an 8 out of 10. I need more time with it because it is, you know, it's not something that I need to take weeks and weeks and weeks to um, to see a change. Usually with an exfoliator, sometimes you can see results. Sometimes people see results right away, like depending on 
how badly you need to exfoliate. But based on my its performance today, I would say maybe like a seven out of 10, eight out of, let's say 7.5 out of 10 for the exfoliator. The Skin Transformation Cream. Now there are two of them, one with fragrance, one fragrance-free. I, I went for the fragrance-free. If there's a fragrance-free option with skincare, I'm more likely to get the fragrance-free just cause like some Fragrances can be just like too much sometimes. So I'm just like, just need a fragrance free. Okay, so same spiel, developed in partnership with a board certified dermatologist. Um, the Skin Transformation Cream Fragrance Free is a rich a ceramide cream that hydrates, plumps, and nourishes, all while purifying and censoring the spirit. A plant-based alternative to retinol, Bacuchiol is an antioxidant rich exfoliator that helps improve the look of tone and texture. Okay, I'm glad that they said a plant-based alternative to retinol because sometimes people like to say that Bacuchiol, like they imply that Bacuchiol is a retinol and it's not. Bacuchiol does, you know, similar things for the skin that a retinol would do, but people in certain stages of life are unable to use a retinol, maybe if they're pregnant or breastfeeding. Um, and that's because, you know, they haven't done tests on pregnant or breastfeeding women at retinol. Um, also, some, some for some people, even if you use the most gentle um, form of a retinoid, they still have like that irritation. So Bacuchiol might be, you know, right up your alley if that is you. Um, Malachite has been used for thousands of years to cleanse, purify, and calm the spirit as well as the skin. Ceramides and hyaluronic acid provide long-lasting hydration for a look of radiance and renewal. Um, they want you to use it with the obsidian facial roller. I'm not a facial roller person. If you haven't noticed, I'm a get in and get out kind of girl when it comes to skincare, the time with the facial roller, but it, it, it's nice and it's part of a routine for some. For some people it helps with puffiness, so you know, you know, just not for me. And talking to you, my skin started to kind of like, you know, the water evaporated and that's usually not the optimal uh, environment to put on a moisturizer. You want your skin to be a little bit damp. It's the best time for both your face and your body. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to dampen my skin. <laughs> kind of dampen off the, pat off the excess. But let's open her up. This packaging. It's fragrance free, but you know, some things just have a net. There's no, fragrance free means that there's no um, ingredient added in it for the sole purpose of fragranting <laughs> the product. Um, but it can still have a smell, you know, because some things just have a natural smell to it. And it just smells like spa, kind of like very neutral, not a, you know, huge scent. Oh, that feels good. It's very lightweight. Now, it's not as hydrating as other moisturizers I'd normally use. Like I like to use um, gel creams or water creams. So this doesn't feel as hydrating, but this does feel nice. Like I feel like this could work for a number of skin types, but you know, you wanna make sure that whatever serum that you're gonna use for the day is really hitting that hydration for you if you have dry skin, cause this might not be enough. This feels more like a, a topper, if that makes sense. Like maybe you'll put on, if you have dry skin, maybe you'll do a water cream and then put this on top or do like a very hydrating serum and then put this on top to kind of like seal it in. But it feels good. Okay, so I wanted to get the price of the moisturizer. It is $30. I like that price. So I'd, I'd give the moisturizer a 6.5. I don't think I would want to use the moisturizer again. I'm probably just going to wind up um, giving this to a friend. I don't know. If, 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 if there's anything, I'm very simple when it comes to my skincare, but I do like textures. Um, the texture on this was nice, but it's not like gonna make me switch from what I would normally like to use. So listen, there's no sunscreen in this. There's no sunscreen in the collection. So make sure you wear your sunscreen. Now I'm not gonna fault them for not having a sunscreen in the collection because you know, it takes a lot to get through like FDA testing and stuff like that. And maybe that's something they'll come up with down the line. But I hope that they're putting that education out there that you need sunscreen because you need sunscreen um now this balm um the key soul care comforting balm is a vanilla scented skin balm that goes wherever loving moisture is needed to soothe smooth hydrate and protect lightweight silky and deeply hydrating camellia seed oil has been used for centuries to moisturize and nourish skin while helping cultivate a bright and glowing complexion Rose of Jericho, avocado oil, and shea butter help renew the look of dull and dehydrated skin with vital hydration. When it comes to quenching your skin, 
and lifting your spirits anytime, anywhere. This balm is the bomb. Okay, apply generously to lips, elbows, cuticles, and heels wherever your skin needs relief from dryness and dullness. Yeah, so it seems more like a Elizabeth Arden eight hour skin protectant. I tend to not like things like this because like, you wanna make sure your hands are clean before you, you, you know, you dip into something like this, but still like, I would've preferred better packaging, you know, different packaging, maybe like a squeeze. You see how I double dipped just now? I put some on my cuticles. Good lord knows these cuticles can use it. It's okay. This doesn't feel like it's gonna last very long. Get a little bit on my elbows. Yeah, like I feel like I would have to like dig into it to like really. And such a small thing, like if I'm gonna. The scent is nice. It is vanilla scented, like they mentioned. You know, that would be nice for the elbows because, you know, Lord knows the elbows and the knees and everything gets so dry. But can I see myself actually sticking my fingers into this little tub <laughs> and, you know, getting at my elbows and stuff every day? No. And I feel like it wouldn't, like, the effect wouldn't last on my lips because I just put it on and I really feel, already feel like... And it's because I like the glide of the lip oil, you know, that kind of remains with me. It just feels like it's going to wear off really quickly. <sighs> A 5 out of 10? Maybe a 4.5 out of 10? Like, I'm sure it does what it says it's gonna do. I just don't like the delivery system. But that does feel kind of good, and it smells smells really nice. Alright, so overall, I'm actually liking this line. I, I would definitely use the cleanser in rotation. I probably won't use the exfoliator that much, because like I said, I'm a get up and go kind of girl. I would probably give that away. Um, the moisturizer, I definitely don't see myself using, and the balm, I definitely don't see myself using. Um, the price point seemed nice. I don't think anything here was over $30, so I, that's kind of like where I like to stay in this season of life. You caught me before, I was spending $50 on cleansers and $100 on moisturizers. I mean, that's the old me. <laughs> so I do like the price point. The packaging is absolutely beautiful, like... This feels like I can drop this a couple of times in a bathroom and it won't shatter because I'm quite clumsy. What else did I like about it? The fragrance in it, you know, the moisturizer's fragrance free, which I liked. Um, the fragrance in the cleanser I liked. Um, fragrance, you know, as they say, isn't as bad in like a rinse off product because it's not actually like staying on your skin. Now these are for people who have, you know, that get irritated by fragrance. If fragrance is not an issue for you, obviously that's not for you, right? Um, that, that last line was not for you. I actually like the fragrance of the cleanser. It kind of helped like, you know, um, brands add fragrance into skincare to kind of help you feel a vibe or give you a nice experience with the product so that you'll use it. Um, sometimes brands do it well and sometimes they don't. I think this was done really well for, for me because fragrance is very subjective. Um, I love the fragrance of the balm. If they made a body moisture, do they make a body moisturizer? They don't. They have a sage and oatmeal candle. I wonder if that doesn't sound like, no, because the balm is vanilla scented. All right. So I will say that if they made this balm, now mind you, the balm was $12. <laughs> if they made this balm scent in a body moisturizer i would definitely buy that i did enjoy the scent of that um but overall like i'm not mad at it i i'm, I'm not mad at it at all yeah would you try alicia key soul care have you tried it before let me know your thoughts also hit that subscribe button and the notifications so we can so i could just be delivered into your feeds on a regular basis as i upload videos have a great one everyone i'll see you in my next one Mwah.